my Bugs Bunny. What? I turned, it was there. Think about it. An eye that stares and follows you no matter which way you turn. Sub. Before that, we've got the Great Piss Debate. Before that, we've got the premiere of Lamb, the animated series. But now, the Battle of the Triple. Got there. Hey, did you guys just see? Did you guys just see the email that that Roz put out about the whiteboard? Huh? Yeah, Roz just put out an email saying that somebody wrote something offensive in Sharpie in the computer lab. Let's let's see it. Yeah. Who shit? That is the question. What? I can't believe I'm holding this in my hands. I thought they were out of print. Oh, they are. But a couple nights ago, I found this on eBay for a couple bucks. Lucky, right? I don't get it. What do you mean? Is this a joke? How much did you even pay for that? It was something, um, it was like... Three, 350 something. You're lying. You're not even a fan of Cold Soldiers. Everyone knows I'm the Cold Soldiers fan. So why the fuck did you spend so much on that? 350 is not a lot. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, buddy. Sam, what's going on? The Film School Scotland Award. The best edit in our post-production class. And he gets to direct the Capstone film. All him. And now he buys that to rub it in my face? I don't think he did that just to spite you. Trevor, do you think there's going to be three famous directors to come out of SUNY Fredonia? No. At most, there's going to be one. And it's starting to look less and less like it's going to be me or you, which pisses me off because he's shit. Have you seen the Lollipop Guild? Come on, Sam. No, Trevor. I'm stealing that DVD. It's mine. Lost in the light I pray for the night And it just sucks, you know, both of them, Sam and Tom, is just constantly competing with each other like it even matters. They always want to be one step ahead of each other. And it just upsets me because we can never just hang out without there being massive amounts of tension. And it just feels like I've been left in the dust. You know, sometimes it just feels like I've already died. And, and my penance is, is this just this constant off feeling. And I don't know what I did when I was alive to deserve that. Right, and what does this have to do with the middle-aged couple you shot in the alleyway? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm sorry, wrong file. Uh, you're the one afraid of balloons. Nope. The kitty fiddler. No. My name is Trevor. I've gone here once a week for the entirety of the year. Ah, yes. Trevor. 
here you are constantly running from the fear of losing your two friends. Well, okay, there's more to it than that, but... The, you, you ever listen to American Pie? Huh? That always cheers me up. Uh... You know... Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. Sam, don't tell me you're doing what I think you're doing. Trevor, I don't want to hear it. He could probably see and hear you from there. You're literally right below his window. Yeah, maybe he will if you don't shut the fuck up. That was unnecessary. You're interrupting my process. You know, Roz is taking legal action on whoever drew whose shit on the whiteboard. I can't imagine what she would do if she saw you doing this right now. It's off school property. All right, well, I just wanted to come by, see if you wanted to maybe uh, meet up with me and Sheldon and help me edit some stuff. Um, and maybe Thomas will be there. I'm busy right now, okay? All right, well, forget I asked. Whatever. Maybe later. Friendship? Wow. A crowbar! Yeah! Yeah! So I guess I will see you pretty soon then. All right, yep, sounds cool. Sounds good. All right, bye.
Oh, hey, hey Thomas. Uh, I'm actually glad that you're here. Are we... What are you doing? You really shouldn't do that, dude. Oh yeah? And who's gonna stop me, Trevor? <laughs> oh, Christ. That's Hollywood, baby. Trevor, do you really think there's gonna be three big filmmakers to come out of Fredonia? No, no, no. At most, there will be one, and it's gonna be me. Thomas, don't. Thomas. Thomas! Well, this is not gonna end well. Hi everybody and welcome back to I Go To Therapy, the show where students of Fredonia go to therapy on live TV. I'm your host, Dr. Mike Igo, and today we have Sam and Thomas, who I'm told are in quite a predicament. But first, before we let the two of them speak, let's let the audience in on what's going on, shall we? Sam Blaze stole my DVD and I'm expected to forgive him? <laughs> Get out of my face! Defamation, impersonation, and vandalism. These are all the things Thomas said I did, and I'm pissed. Not only did he steal my DVD, but he broke into my home to do it. These problems are too big for Dr. Igo to ignore. Thomas has constantly harassed me, and it needs to stop now. I need Dr. Igo to fix it. Tell him, Dr. Igo. Tell him, Dr. Igo. <laughs> Now, those are really some hateful words the two of you both have for each other. Do either of you really think that that anger is completely justified? Why are we here? Uh, the email said this was mandatory. What's the deal? Thomas, I'd really appreciate you just answer the question, please. Yes, Dr. I, I go. You know what? Yeah. Uh, I think those words were justified. Uh, not only did this man break my trust, but he broke into my house and stole my property. I mean, I could press charges, all because he's... Jealous? Why did I get the shit chair? Don't look at me like that. The, the contrast here is pretty obvious. This, this thing's on the verge of collapsing. Almost like the state of this college. Elaborate on that if you would. On Fredonia? No. On the chair? No. How your dad left. And how your entire goal in life is to be a better and more successful man than he ever was. Because if God forbid you turned out anything like him, you could never forgive yourself. And Thomas' success made you feel inferior for the first time as long as you can remember. And that made you act out. No, don't give him any excuses. He's just jealous of my DVD. Oh, c come on. Buy your own, Sam. Dr. Igo, I gave him the DVD back. But you know what he can't take back? This, the, 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 the legal battle I'm now locked in with the college because they think I wrote who shit on the whiteboard. Is there any proof that you didn't? Please! I'm in the middle of turning a tanker here. You, you pee-pee poo-poo man, you, you. Dr. Igo, that really hurt my feelings. Well, that's very valid, Thomas. <sighs> Thank you, doctor. Who signed us up for this show? Yeah. Who, who did this? I mean, come on. Well, who do you men think did? The one person you both completely left out of your story and they seem to be leaving out of this part of your life. Excuse me? Trevor. Oh, damn. Now, all of your foolish, petty games have turned that man hollow. Dr. Kerr told me he came to her office and he was distraught like no student she's ever seen. Oh, that quack is just uh, 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 Excuse me? Dr. Kerr and I are both trained professional therapists, and we do our job with grace. You two, on the other hand, you're monsters. Well, anyway, folks, that's our show for tonight. All we have time for, we'll catch you next time on I Go For Therapy.
We got to help Trevor. Yeah. Christmas, a time when shoppers are on the prowl for those perfect presents. I too was among them. The greatest teams in the newly combined AFL-NFL National Football League. Canada's Wonderland. Wonderland. Time, you can't cheat, because there's someone else to think about. There's someone else someone to think about. Someone else to think about. Someone else to think about. Trevor! Trevor! <sighs> Look, man, I know you said this guy was good, but I've been asking around campus, and I heard he's a goddamn nut. Okay, maybe he has some unorthodox methods, but you know, that's what makes him the great P.I. Jordan. You know? Popular. High in demand. Don't touch me, bro. So, um... What did you hear? A few years ago, his parents were killed in a Fredonia alleyway. So, now he devotes his life to fighting crime, hoping he'll find the people responsible. Real Batman complex. And for some reason, the college lets him stay here, even though he graduated three semesters ago. Look, Sam, I know with recent events, it's hard for anyone to trust anyone associated with the law. He caught but a kid vaping on campus property and strangled him so hard, he can't even talk anymore. He was a vocal music student. Well, if he was a vocal music student, maybe he shouldn't have been vaping. Oh, come on, place, please. You know what I mean? That's... Thomas? Sam? Yeah. yeah. Come on in. All right. So it's very hard for the two of us to be in the same room right now. I mean, we kind of got like a few I going on the last. So, so I'm gonna make this quick. Look, um, we're worried about our friend Trevor. Um, lately, he's been very distant. Uh, he, he doesn't answer any of our texts. The three of us haven't hung out in a while. So uh, we were thinking you could use some of your detective magic. P.I. Sorry, P.I. magic. And uh, just find out what's wrong with him. And I'm assuming when you ask him what's wrong, he doesn't give a straight answer or doesn't respond? Well, I mean... Wait, you haven't even asked him what's wrong? Like, at all? That's not really our thing, you know? It's not what we do, it's not our place. Isn't that like a friend's thing? That's what friends do, that's like exactly your place? Didn't, didn't you also say this happened like a week ago? When your big fight also happened? Because it seems to me like his sadness brought the two of you together. Look, can, can you just like... Yeah, sure, fine, I'll do it. Let me just write this down. He has a gun. Holy fuck, to be fair. All right, and what was your friend's full name again? Trevor Howard. And you two? Uh, Thomas Gentilly. Sam Blaze. Said Sam Blaze? I've heard that name before on campus. Probably because everyone on campus thought he was the one who threw who shit on the whiteboard. Was that you? No, 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 Good, because it'd be crime. All right, you're all set? P.I. Yeah, Jordan's on the case. I on a rocky ledge, there's a middle Totally unprofessional. Completely scared. I, I, I'm still not afraid of balloons. I'm still not committing any crimes. I'm, do I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Trevor, come on. I I'll get these files together soon. Trevor, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, sorry about that, man.
dude is like straight up breathing out of his mouth. Hey, Dr. Kerr. Oh, hey, Jordan. How you doing? Long time no see. Dr. Igo said he wanted to meet with you. Oh, he did? Huh. Well, let's see what that's all about. Thank you, Jordan. Of course, Dr. Kerr. Mouth breather. Hey Jordan, are you sure you, the doctor Igo said he wanted to see me because he said... Amber let me in. What are you doing here? Did Jordan not tell us to meet here tonight to show us what we found over the week? Oh yeah, shit, that's tonight. Uh, look, I can go wait outside or something before he uh, gets here. I'm jealous of you, Sam. Right. I'm serious. I'm intrigued. You got it all figured out, man. You know what you want to be. You know directing's your thing. Isn't it yours too? Isn't that what this whole thing is about? I think I wanted that to be the case for the longest time. But that's not what I want to be, man. That's not what I want to do. And I think I always knew that, but I was so scared of rejection that I hid behind an accepted occupation. You have a more unconventional occupation than a director? A job that already has no strict qualifications or hiring process? A job you basically just have to pray to get? Sorry, keep going. I talked with Dr. Igo after the show the other day, and he held a session for me. And he said something that really stuck with me. He said that my innate need to boss people around is what shuts people out. And that's when I realized, bossing people around, always having to have the final word, always having to be on top, saying and doing things that are morally irresponsible just because of my position of power, those just aren't really the aspects of a big Hollywood director. Well... I had chosen the wrong career path. I want to be a TED Talker. Um, I know it doesn't fit within the confines of our societal norms. No, I mean, it's not really a... A secure choice. I know. No, I mean, it's not a real job. <laughs> You're funny, man. I just want to help people be better, you know? Say some crazy, encouraging, or existential shit that makes them think about things differently. Bossing people around. But how to make their lives better. So, like a motivational speaker kind of but in my job there'll be a giant red ted in the middle of the stage as i speak man as long as you're being yourself that's all that matters if anyone says your dream is unrealistic they have no place in that dream thanks man that means a lot and i'm um, i'm sorry i acted out you know i i think i just freaked out and got defensive when you told me that my Love for cold soldiers was fake and in vain, but it's only because you were right. Nah, man, I I'm sorry. I, I, I was jealous. I thought you were being a dick and that you thought you were better than me, and it just got to me. I have, I mean, we both have a long road ahead of us. 
I might never have true security in this line of work again. It stresses me out. I mean, we're still just kids at the end of the day. And yeah, they don't just let anyone do a TED Talk. Well, if we're both sorry... There's just one more person we have to apologize to. You want to get Trevor over here right now, actually? The both of you can hear this talk I've been working on. Hell yeah. First, we should call off Jordan, though. Tell him we've got it all figured out. Good call. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. I wonder what he's up to. Now, Jordan, listen here. Uh, if by chance anyone ever shoots your mother and I in a Fredonia alleyway, just you better rain hell upon their dirty soul. I will, Dad. I promise. And I'm just joking with you, my boy. I'm not joking, Daddy. I'll slit those bastards' fucking throats. <laughs> That's my boy. Now how about that PB and J I made you? It's bussin', Dad. On God? No cap, Dad. Give me a kiss that Bella dream on in my imagination. Hey, Trevor, good to hear your voice. Uh, I'm just hanging out here with Thomas. I know, right? Yeah, we talked it all through, and we thought, you know, you should be here, so why don't you just get the hell on over here? <laughs> okay. See ya. He's on his way. Awesome. Weird. Uh, Dr. Kerr? This is Sam, right? Um, yeah. Listen, Sam, I've been trying to get a hold of Jordan and Trevor all day. I, I, I think they might be in terrible danger. I think Jordan might be under the impression that Trevor killed his parents. Fuck. I didn't know who else to call. We've got this. Yeah, Trevor, so change of plans. Oh, I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i just excited that the three of us are just getting back together. So you know? we're just gonna pick you up, okay? Look, just start walking towards the parking lot and we'll meet you in the middle, all right? Okay. Shy as a 
Okay, and here we are. It's been a while for you, hasn't it? Thomas, we're here! What the hell is that? Oh, sorry. We thought you were a goner for a bit, so uh, we had to prepare. Thought we'd help your family out. What? You thought they'd hang that up at the funeral? They loved it. He tried? Bro, impact font? I, uh, I, uh... Look, it, it, it means a lot to me that you guys were trying to help, and I, I appreciate it. I, I'm just, I'm really glad that I did not die, because, like, like, Jesus. Hey, Trevor, you look great. Good to see you guys. Do you have the, uh... Yep. uh... Sam and I thought we'd chip in on something for you since you're out. Bro. It's signed? Thanks, I... I'll watch it later, but... You guys are the best. Watch it later? You can open a... Signed, collectible copy of Cold Soldiers? Sam. Sorry. Anyways, you two want to hit the road and watch me rehearse for my big speech this weekend? Hell yeah. Let's go. Can't believe you finally made it, dude. Congrats. Thanks, man. I mean, it's a Ted Junior student conference, so it's not really the real deal, but, you know, it's close. <laughs> That's why communication is key. If I've learned one thing from my short time here, it's to stop hiding, especially from the people we love the most. When you find those people, those people who truly understand you, who make you happy, never run from them or that feeling. Because we might not be here forever. Life loves to throw us curveballs. We can strive to be friends forever and want to, but from personal experience, it's never quite that simple. But we can never forget, no matter what happens, the initial principle that we spent time with these people because they understood us and they made us happy. So no matter what happens, no matter how far away our paths turn from each other, no matter how far we drift apart, to you two and to everyone I've met here at Fredonia, thank you for being my friend.
bro. <laughs> Yo, where did There's no battery left. There's no battery left. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. Ah! 